Hey guys, it's Jesse. I'm uh, going to do a quick shave. It's Tuesday night. Uh, I don't know. It's pretty late. I think it's like 6.30 or 7. Um, I've already loaded up my brush. I'm using Maggard's uh, London Barber Shop and uh, a Gold Dollar 800 that I actually, I think I bought this back in, when Billy T was still honing and uh, love it. And uh, we'll get into it. Today, I'm not going to tell a Bible story tonight. I'm going to just tell a regular story. Kind of a, uh, just kind of a life story, I guess. Um, I grew up on a farm. I think they farmed about, oh, around 4,000 acres or something like that is what they farmed. And it was a big farm. Four to six thousand. I grew up. We didn't start, you know. I didn't uh, start out there. We started out in a small little town, and then we ended up moving to the farm itself. And, um, my dad, he was uh, elder of a church, and kind of like the associate pastor. It was a small church, and. Uh, so they didn't really have like a, a real associate pastor. He kind of was it, just filled in as that and was an elder of the church. And uh, I remember one day I came home and I can't remember exactly what happened, but I remember I was uh, boo-hooing about, you know, um, a little girl breaking up with me or something. And I remember thinking to myself that I was never, ever going to meet somebody, you know, and I remember my dad, you know, kind of consoling me a little bit and telling me, he said, you know, son, your mom and I has done something ever since you guys were little. I got two brothers and a sister. So ever since you guys were little, we have, or ever since you've been born, we have prayed that, you know, God would raise up good godly women and a godly man for your brothers and your sister. And uh, he said, I really believe that God's got that special someone for you. And of course, you know, as a kid, it's kind of hard to believe those things. And I didn't believe it at the time either. And so, you know, I think I boohooed a little more and finally got over it. But it was weird. Because it wasn't shortly after that that I started to dream about this person. This faceless girl. I knew she was beautiful, but didn't really see her face. I knew she was blonde. I knew she was little. It was funny because I'll never forget the first time I dreamed about it. I thought, man, whoever gets to be with her is going to be lucky, you know. And uh, I'll never forget that. And I was probably 12, I think. And I remember as I grew older and, you know, got into high school, I used to always think, well, maybe that's her, or maybe that's her, and maybe that's her. And face never cleared up, you know, it was always that faceless person. And I thought, man, am I ever 
going to meet this person? Am I ever going to be able to see what she looks like? And uh, one day, as you know, as since we were um, farming, we had a seed farm, and so we took care of you know the crops and. Some of you may not know this, but it's like uh, detasseling and deroguing, which is something that you have to do to seed corn, to, to make field corn. And for those of you that may know that, you know, it's pretty hard work and hot and sticky and sometimes it's wet and stuff. And it's just sucks sometimes. But back in the day, they used to hire all high school kids to do that. And... Uh, I grew up doing it, of course, you know, and so naturally, you know, my brothers and I and sister, we became, you know, kind of like the crew leaders of, of the, when the kids would come out. And I'll never forget One morning I woke up and my bedroom window faced uh, out towards what we called the office. And that's where, you know, when you were a kid, you got dropped off um, by the office. And so I'll never forget that I was, I woke up and looked out my bedroom window and I watched this car pull in and, uh, I recognized the car as somebody, one of the kids from church, his mom, because we always did hire a lot of kids from our church. And, and uh, I recognized that that was her. And so I didn't think anything of it. So I was just standing there kind of watching. And sure enough, the girl that uh, went to the church got out. And then all of a sudden, another girl got out. And all of a sudden... I had to meet her. I had to meet her. I'll never forget it. It was like, you know how they say when you uh, you have a near-death experience, you have your life flash in front of your face. It was almost as if all of a sudden, all those dreams I had and all those faceless times, they flashed in front of my face. And... I went down there and met this girl. And uh, I'll never forget the first time I met, met her. Her name was Laura. And, uh, man, it was just awesome. I mean, I just met her. She was great. She was sweet. She was just a little tiny blonde. I went down and introduced myself. Well, actually, she had asked my friend or the friend from church who I was. Of course, my friend from church said, oh, that's just Jesse. And uh, I remember after meeting her, how awesome it was to, to be her crew leader because I got to be with her. And... Uh, I remember it was getting ready to storm that day. First day we met. And uh, she got stuck in the mud, or she got stuck in the mud, and I went and pulled her out of the mud. And I looked at her, and there was just this beautiful light behind her. And I looked at her and I told her, I'm going to marry you one day. You know, mind you, I was 16 or 17 years old. And I believe she was just had just turned 14. But I knew right then, that's who God wanted me to be with. So, she told me I was crazy. Probably like a
like a smart woman should. But I said, well, can I come over anyway? And she said, yep. You can come over. And I'll be honest with you. I'm glad I did. Because that day, I met my wife. Most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. And I've been blessed with her ever since. And uh, we've been married for over 20 years. I think it would be 22. And uh, it's been amazing. It's been one of the most incredible experiences of my life. We have four beautiful children together. And I'm sure glad that God woke me up that morning to see her. I know it's kind of a funny story. And uh, not really one of my usual ones, but I just wanted to tell that one because I felt like I wanted to tell everybody how proud I am that I've been married for over 20 years and I'll make sure to put a picture on. So that's it. My gold dollar 800 is a great shave. Uh, I used barbershop, London barbershop. I'm going to rinse off and I'll probably finish off with American blend fine aftershave. You guys have a great day. Hope you enjoyed. I'll talk to you later. All time.